Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Paul Paquin here at Golden Financial Services. And I just want to give you a little information on, first off, who we are. Golden Financial Services, we are a national debt relief company. We've been assisting consumers with their debt issues since 2004. And today, the title of this video is called Nine Ways to Become Debt Free and Stay Debt Free. Not just become debt free, but stay debt free and start saving money. And uh, let's start with some t statistics, okay? Statistics are important to hear because it, it's going to help you to understand why this country is going through what it's going through, you know, why the ec economic downturn has continued to just spiral in a downward direction. And first off, listen to these statistics. In 2009, only 20% of college students between 18 to 24 years old were jobless or underemployed. Now, that number increased to above 50% today, above 50%. Now, add a $40,000 student loan debt on top of being jobless, and that's a problem, okay? Now, in 2011, just 26% of teens were employed. In 2012, 36% of the nation's college students between the ages of 18 to 31 years old, the so-called new generation, were living with their parents at their parents' house. Now, what do these statistics tell you? Well, I'm sure they tell you that as an economy, it's obvious that the financial health of just our overall economy has continued to decline year after year. And our young adults need to get educated. I mean, they are the future. And things need to change, starting with each and every one of you watching this video, this video, if you follow these steps and these rules, you could be buried in debt right now. You could have low income. But if you follow these rules and these steps, you will be debt free within five years. You will stay out of debt and you will be able to save money. I can, I, I can guarantee you that if you follow these steps. Now, Let's just jump right into it. Number one, you need to start with a detailed budget analysis, okay? The budget analysis is going to give you a picture of all of your expenses. And basically, once you get a detailed budget analysis completed, okay, you will be able to find places that you can cut your expense and reduce it. Maybe you are spending $1,000 per month at the grocery store. Without a budget analysis, there's no way of knowing. I mean, you probably couldn't even guess what you're spending each month on groceries. Once you get the, the budget analysis, you will be able to see the number to the penny, to the dime. You know, you're going to get very close to exactly what you're spending at the grocery store. You can then, by using coupons or by cutting out certain expenses, maybe cut out all, your, all of your junk food. Um, that would be a healthy move to make, and it would save you money. One way or another, you need to reduce your grocery bill from $1,000 per month down to $700 per month. You will now have an extra $300 of cash flow each month. You need a budget to figure this out. I mean, there's no other way to do it. And we've provided you with an example budget analysis tool. Just zero out what doesn't relate to you and add in your appropriate expenses. Very easy to use. Okay, below the video, click on the image that says free budget tools and you will be able to get the budget tool plug in your expenses, everything will automatically be calculated and you have your budget analysis. Now go through it carefully. Try to reduce your expenses. Try to reduce every single one of your expenses if, if possible. And then what we're going to do is we're going to try to free up as much cash flow as possible. With all of the cash flow that becomes available, you're going to use all of that money to now do step number two. Pay off your highest interest account first, then move to the next highest interest account and pay that one off and continue down the ladder until you are debt free from all unsecured debt. Start with the highest interest account. If you have a, a credit card at 25% interest, 
pay that one off first if that's your highest interest rate. Pay it off, and on the other accounts, just continue paying minimum payments. And then once you get the highest interest rate account paid off, then you move down the ladder and you attack the second account, the second highest interest rate account. And simply, again, just pay minimum payments on all the other accounts. Once you figure out where to cut expenses and basically find money, now you will be in a position to use the extra money and start paying off your high interest accounts one by one. Step three, once you pay off your unsecured debt and credit cards, now you need to start trying and attempting to pay off your mortgage and any secured debt that you have. Put all of the extra money that you found in your, you know, your budget analysis towards paying off your mortgage. Pay as much as you can on top of the regular payment each month until your mortgage is paid in full. You can do it. My family did it just by following these simple steps. And we are far from rich, okay? And I'm referring to about 12 years ago when we actually took, took initiative and took, took these steps and actually used them. We did it. You could do it. And we've seen probably over 100 clients in the last 10 years that have implemented these same steps and they are living debt-free. They are saving money. You can do it. You can do it too, okay? Now, step number four, you need to make extra money. You need to increase your annual revenue. You can join Odesk. I'm, I'm just going to give you a few examples. Online, there are thousands of ways to make money. Join Odesk. Odesk and Elance are where freelancers all around the world sign up to find jobs. And businesses then hire these freelancers to do work. What are you good at? Were you good in English? English uh, English majors, or have, even if you were good in English in high school, okay, you could be an editor. For example, there are Indian, uh, there are companies in Russia, India, uh, there are internationally, there are marketing companies that are looking for English editors. And you don't have to have a degree, a college degree. They just want to look at your past work. You can include some past articles that you wrote in high school. If it looks good, if you're using a wide range of vocabulary and your writing skill is high quality, you will be getting hired left and right. Because keep in mind, if there's a marketing company in India, they have a very difficult time, you know, when they are working for English, American companies, they have a hard time writing English content. So you could get hired left and right for, for editing jobs. If, if you're no good at English, then maybe, maybe, you can, maybe you can apply for a sales job. Do you have some type of expertise or sales skill? If you do, get hired as a sales agent. There's hundreds of companies that are looking for sales agents, and you can work from home. Um, you can contact companies all across the internet and request that they give you information on referring clients to them. You can refer family members. You can refer friends. Any company will pay you. Any large company, any reputable company will pay you for referrals. Referrals are extremely valuable. So find companies that will pay you for referrals. The key is don't just call into their customer service department. You want to make sure you call into the um, business management department and negotiate a commission rate for them to pay you if you refer them business. Increase your income. Make extra money. That's number four. Number five, use your tax refund wisely. Those eligible for benefits like the earned, um, it's called the earned income tax credit, EITC. You could get a tax refund for up to $6,000. If you have a child or two children, they are tax deductibles, and that equals money. Do a search on Google for tax credits in your state. Use the money wisely. Either A, pay off debt with it. B, save it in an IRA. At Vanguard, V-A-N-G-U-A-R-D, Vanguard, you could speak to a specialist, and they have IRA investment accounts that earn 15 to 20% interest. It's unheard of. You cannot go to a local bank, a credit union, or a Bank of America, or a Chase, and 
find a savings account that pays you that type of earnings, okay? That type of interest. Now, the next step is going to help you with being proactive and staying out of debt. Now you're debt free, you followed the initial steps. Now that you are debt free, it's time to start saving and staying out of debt. Number six, never buy a new car. You would be better off gambling. I mean, buying a new car is the biggest waste of money. The second you drive off, drive off the lot, the car depreciates by 11%. Three years after buying a new car, it depreciates by 46%. Okay, the next one, don't go to college College unless you have to, all right? I mean, if you have an opportunity that presents itself to you and you don't need to go to college, don't just go to college to go because you're going to incur a huge amount of debt. Look at Abraham Lincoln, a lawyer, U.S. president, finished one year of formal schooling, self-taught himself trigonometry, and um, read Blackstone, on his own to become a lawyer. Andrew Carnegie, industrialist, one of the first mega billionaires in the US. Dropout, he was an elementary school dropout. Andrew Jackson, US president, general, attorney, judge, homeschooled, became a practicing attorney at 35 years old. Ann Baylor, multimillionaire, co-founder of Auntie Ann's Pretzels, dropped out of high school. Barbara Lynch, a chef, Owner of a group of restaurants worth over $10 million in Boston dropped out of high school. Times are quickly evolving and changing. A college education no longer guarantees a job, but it does guarantee debt. Spend less than you make, period. Put even more simply, I'm sure you heard the saying, act your age. Well, here's another saying, act your wage. Wage, W-A-G-E, act your wage. Okay, as Dave Ramsey says, we buy things we don't need with money we don't have to impress people we don't like. I love that saying. All right. The next step. Step number nine, save 10% of your income no matter what. When I met my beautiful wife, she made $500 per, per week. I made $1,000 per week. We both worked at a nonprofit consumer credit counseling company at the time back in 2003. We were far from rich. But that didn't stop us from saving. We made a vow. The day we moved in together, we made a promise that we would always invest 10% of our paycheck, okay, of our net income, would go immediately into an IRA. It was actually at Vanguard. We've always been at Vanguard. And then another 10% would go to our local church. Every single week for the next year, I am proud to say that we never failed to put at least $150 into our savings, which happened to be an IRA at the time. Okay, this was back 12, approximately 12 years ago. Okay, um, that money didn't even exist to us, you know. We did not consider it part of our income, but rather savings that could not be touched. These nine rules will change your life. If you have any questions, if you need any assistance, if, you, if you're inquiring about what debt relief programs are available in your state, whatever you need financially, call for your free consultation. You know, we have experienced specialists that can speak with you, answer your questions, and advise you in the right direction at 866 Three seven six nine eight four six. If not, I hope you take this information and make the best of it. Have a great day.